Hey everybody and welcome on back to Building with Whip. Man, I am so freaking excited to get back in here today working on our village and I am absolutely loving this project right now. So thank you all so much for the support on this one. I did want to come over here real quick to test something that people are spamming in the comments. If you shift, you still take damage. You definitely still take damage. You guys all lied to me. Thanks. Moving on from our testing there with shifting and crawling through the berry bushes inside of our village. Last episode, we came through here and added in a bunch of new structures and base layouts and things like that to the village and got a bunch of things going for ourselves. Last episode was all about planning the village, transforming it, and coming up with a new game plan for what this thing is going to be looking like. And additionally, beyond that, of all these cobblestone layouts around here, we got our little corral over here populated with some sheepies, some horses. We got some cows populated up in the one up above, and we were able to build up this house. I'm really, really happy with this one. Have not done the interior for it yet, so maybe we'll be able to tackle that today. We got a few fields planted around the village as well to make it so that we can actually have our villagers doing some good stuff there. And there's one thing I did totally forget in the last episode. We forgot to name our kitty. Our kitty cat down here, she has been hanging out, having a good time, and I have been sitting on this name tag in my inventory. We're gonna be going with Donut. I can't remember who commented this one down below, but I absolutely love the name for our cat, so we're gonna name her Donut, and she's just gonna hang out down here for a little while. Anybody has any ideas on where we should move Donut throughout the village, be sure to let me know. Now, today's plan as we're waiting for the night to set in here is I actually want to be building the church. I think today will be a really good time that we can get that church transformation going. We can get a few lecterns and things in here, start getting, getting some librarians populated throughout the village because I feel like our village here is not really going to have its own library building. We might actually squeeze one back in there, but I want to use the church as the main place where we get a lot of our librarians having their workstations and things like that. What I would like to do to get ourselves started is actually bring up the base of this to being up at this point. So we have kind of up into this level and then we'll probably bring it all the way throughout here. So this is actually gonna be the base floor for where it even starts, because I feel like otherwise, we're gonna have something right here probably with like a staircase coming up. So then we can do like this, and we'll have like this as the base entrance floor right there. We can drop these parts down a bit further, and our floor level is gonna be like right at this point. To make this place feel a little bit more older and more like it's been here for a very long time, I was thinking we could bring in a bunch of spruce wood planks as the flooring bit here, because we aren't really using those too much around the rest of the area and that this is really going to help us kind of define what a lot of the shape is going to be like as far as at least having our floor in place for now and it was churches what we want to do is make it feel very tall and very grand but not completely overkill with that and one thing i was thinking we could do to actually help out with that one is i actually wanted to take another bit of a corner out of here and create another I wanted to create an additional tower bit. So we're going to have a tower off to this corner right here. So if we go like this, that might actually cut into that building there just slightly. But I think that's actually going to be totally okay. We can work with that and make it happen. Uh, we can rework that roof bit just, just slightly so it'll actually work out. But if we go with this, that's going to be... That's only four. Hmm, that puts us in an even on all the sides. Do we want to do that? Because I feel like if we came out to here, that might be a little too big. Yeah, that's definitely way too big. Let's just go with... We could just have this be a three wide one. Let's Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that for now. Okay, so that's now giving us a three by three center, which I think will turn this into a bell tower for our village, but we'll probably still hide a bell over in that vicinity somewhere. We do have an armorer now who we can trade bells with, which is gonna, <clears throat> which is gonna be absolutely awesome. And what I was thinking is we would probably wanna set our main point being right here. So if we bring this guy up, and go one, two, and then we're gonna have, so the doorway would be right there. And then if we bring this up another two blocks tall and start bringing this thing in here together and we go two and we go in two like that, how tall are we looking at? I think that's an okay height for this. Uh, so we'll have this stuff all open in here. I'm thinking we'll actually use a lot of bone block for our church here to keep with that same Tudor style that we're trying to go with throughout this entire area, but with the a little bit less of a cleaner look than we have with all of the houses being that white terracotta so far. Sorry for the background noise. Kodo is over here absolutely loving his toys right now. Of course, as soon as I get recording, he is just like, I'm going to play with every toy ever. Okay, I decided to let him have a little while of playtime there. So we're back here. And what I'm thinking is I want to see what it would look like if we start bringing these up just too high 
on both sides. So we do like this and bring you up two, and then we go a one and a two right up there. That's gonna be a good chunk taller than that guy, which is the plan. And I want to see, yeah, that's a that's a decent height. I think for a village church, that's a decent height. And then the tower will probably be five, six, seven blocks taller than that. So if we take you and we do like this, bam, here. And then that'll allow us to actually create that window on that bit as well. And then, so those would be three. Then we'd be bringing you directly across like this, I believe. So it looks like on this outside, we actually also have the ability to add some extra detail bits right here with three wide windows going throughout. So I'm thinking we'll actually do three wide gaps here, but on the center one is the only one where it's actually gonna be a three wide window. So these ones over here, we're probably gonna do something along the lines of this, uh, where we have like a, a larger area, but we're only gonna have a one wide window here in the center. So if we bring you all the way up there, then these ones can kind of come up here a bit further and do their own little spiky thing, probably like one block at a time or something like a so. I know we're using a lot of cobblestone here. This is basically just to get a really rough idea of what everything would look like in the end. And if we take you all the way up here, I'm thinking on this one, we'll do one, two, and then two, and we'll bring this center pillar up too tall. And then we'll do something like this. I think for a rough idea on this side here, that can actually give us some cool detail bits as well. Using the bone blocks and things on the inside of this, not having it all being cobblestone, hopefully, and using some stone brick for those pillars. I think this is actually a really good idea. I'm going to start filling in a few of the walls and getting a few more things filled in along here. <clears throat> I've been spending a lot of time replacing that cobblestone we had placed down with a lot of stone brick and other details moving in here. And I figured out what our front entrance area is going to look like for now. It's basically just this little strip that juts out right there. We got a bit of a spruce roof going on for this one. And then right now it's just stone brick right here. And we can walk right up into the inside. I did have to bring this side here back in one block as far as the cobblestone goes. And same with this side here as well. It was looking a little weird having this perfectly in line with that. It felt very flat on the outsides. So we have that consistent moving around the entire build now. Next thing I wanted to get on here was actually getting the roof on so that we can start detailing everything out, getting some windows in here, and seeing what all that stuff's going to be looking like. So what I was thinking is we could actually just go directly right here and just throw in our spruce stairs right like that. And then coming up here, we're going to be using some spruce wood logs right there. And then we can do another one of these guys. And this is going to actually step right into that one. Then basically it's more strips like this going all the way across the top here. And if we can do these correctly, that will end right here. And we could, and again, do the spruce stairs going all the way around, uh, around like this. And then along the top to make it a bit more detailed, I'm thinking we'll change that one up. And we're going to do that strip uh, of spruce wood planks right in here. And then on top above that, I was thinking we could actually bring in some trap doors and some slabs. So we do slab, trap door, slab, trap door, and basically carry this all the way along there. It should look actually pretty interesting. I'm hoping that we'll get a cool feeling and cool shape with that one here. It won't be too spiky, which is kind of what I'm looking for. I don't want to go anything too grand, kind of like what we've been doing with the roofs down there and all that stuff. Oh man, I'm so happy to have Optifine zoom back. But bringing all these ones in here, this should actually help us out with detailing the top bit out. And that will make it spawn proof and that lines up perfectly. Oh, thank you. And then we can do bam and bam and do boop and another boop right there. Actually, we'll change this to be sideways as well. All right, that's what it's gonna be looking like right now for the roof bit. I really like that. I'm gonna get this in on everything else and I'll be back. Looking at our church from outside of the village, it's it's pretty big and it, it stands out a lot. So we gotta start figuring out some ways where we can start bringing this back in here. Cause especially when we come up here, it really, really feels like it stands out a lot. So I wanna start getting that white terracotta or the bone blocks in here in place so we can actually start having some more interesting shapes and things like that going on. Uh, where are they? Of course, the white shulker box. That makes absolute sense. What I was thinking was actually inside of this area right here where we have this window and everything, I almost want to try bringing this in here directly. I really don't think it's going to work, to be honest, uh, but I want to try it. So I was thinking we could do something like this and have our wood and everything going around here as accent bits. And then if we can try maybe you right there, how does that look? That's actually, hmm, that's actually not too bad. What if we actually get rid of you? and just place these down in there. You know, I kind of like that. We might use one of those new building blocks, or I'm really tempted to bring like barrels in right there to make it look a bit more reinforced. 
but that is actually pretty cool looking. And then if we take this guy right here, bring these all the way up to the top, we can bring our bone blocks way up here to the top and that'll start lightening up this area and basically getting rid of a lot of that cobblestone that we had out here is really gonna help bring this back into being a lot more interesting, a lot more in the shape that we had. And then I'm actually thinking down here, we'll probably go ahead and get rid of those guys. And for now, we're just gonna add in the bone blocks. I wish there was a way to get like the top of the bone block to be smoothed out instead of kind of what it is right now. I'm actually thinking we could get rid of those, but that does expose that wood bit up there. Mm, that's okay, that's fine. I know all this stuff is a different material than what we've been using because it's not our, uh, it's not the white terracotta like I was trying to fumble with earlier. Uh, but I think it's actually going to help us out a lot here. So I'm thinking with that, guys, we're actually only going to do that three tall. And then this one here in the center, we can make this a little bit taller. So being four tall. Actually, this one was meant to be that whole wide long strip right here. And this was actually meant to be bone block here as well from that point. And then these were meant to be like you, right? Like this. And then we'll get rid of that guy up there at the top as well. And that should start smoothing things out here a bit around this whole area. I, this could be interesting. We could be tearing this entire thing out, but I'm going to get it in for now. We're definitely getting a totally different atmosphere with this now. And I actually really like that with the, with the white in there. We're going to blend that in a bit further there, but I want to leave that stone base to it below, <laughs> below where our floorboards are. Uh, and I think this is actually looking pretty cool. I like this one a lot now. I'm going to try and get some windows in here and add some extra detail bits along the sides of these things and see what we can't do on there. I think it would be, I was thinking we could add shutters, but I feel like shutters really wouldn't be on a church. So maybe we do some sort of like this and kind of create some flower box action things going on there. Maybe just some bushes or something that could be kind of cool. So I'm just going to keep messing with this stuff. I'll get the windows in and we'll go from there. We're going to use that same lime glass color that the traditional, or I guess they used yellow. Do we have any yellow? We do have some yellow. Let's try yellow. Now yellow is what they use on the default Minecraft churches in a lot of the places and they actually have a different bit of color at the base. So they have yellow at the base and then they have some sort of like, I think it's white or just regular glass towards the top. So I was thinking about mixing those in here, but I since we have so much bone block in here, I wanna try just with the yellow to get started here and see how crazy this is. And then we'll take a look at it from there. Minus detailing out our stone and removing a lot of that cobblestone and adding in some stone and andesite and everything like that, the main part of our church is actually done. We still have to focus on the tower here instead of just being a big old box. But looking on the inside, we've got a few detail bits scattered around here as well. The whole roof is inside on the interior as well, basically just adding some stairs to smooth it out. Then I came in here and added some strip spruce pillars in here, and it's a lot of spruce going on. But I think that'll be totally okay after we start getting some things actually placed in here. But right now, I really like this one. I think from the outside, it's looking pretty good as well. I was thinking out here on the backside of just adding in a few bits of detail right here to add some extra depth to this thing is just throwing in a few lanterns right there. And then we can bring in our jungle leaves, which are basically, I was thinking we do like a manicured little plot right up here with some leaves and we can do some flower pots if needed on top of those to add some extra flowers, maybe in front of the windows. And then we can have them kind of hanging off in a few different areas like that. And then I did want to have, of course, a big little bushy mess down here like we normally go for, because I feel like I love just adding my leaves and things everywhere. I feel my inner corralis is coming out right here, but just something like this on this side is actually gonna really help detail that out and bring it into the style that we have going on here. And that is looking pretty sweet. I really like this one so far. I think it's a lot of stone brick going on, but I think behind that, the accents that we're getting with the white bone block is actually really, really cool in here. We might wanna change up what we have going on with all of that yellow stained glass. Maybe this middle one, where you bring in that, a bit of that lime there in the center or some other color, but I'm liking it so far. All right, so I'm still over here working on the shape for the actual tower, and I think I got a top point that I'm actually enjoying so far. I think it would be pretty cool if we were gonna completely fail that jump, but actually before we jump up there, let's grab a few more stone brick stairs. I'm running a little low on the guys, so we need to grab a few more of these. And coming up to the top of this one, and that's, I, I'm so confused by scaffolding still. <laughs> still getting the hang of these ones, but I was thinking at the top here as a bit of an ode back to kind of the other churches and the other types of styles we have throughout the rest of the world. I want to make sure that this area isn't completely 100% different than everything else, but of course has its own flair. But since it's so close, I still want to bring these spiky bits here into the top of this guy, and that's looking pretty cool. Then rounding this out there on that side as well. Can we get you right there so I can jump down in here? Perfect. 
and then let's just break those. Okay, so in here we have this gap right in there, and I'm thinking we're basically just going to do something like that. Actually, we can't hang a bell from fences, can we? So we're gonna need to do something right in here, and then unfortunately, I think we actually need to do that. So we can have the bell hanging from there, and then we'll have this thing open up here in the center, and we'll have a fence kind of sticking all the way up to the top and going connecting into the base of the bell, and we'll put that bell right up there. But anyways, before we do that, I was thinking over in these areas we could use that same kind of pattern we're using down below as the dividing points, where basically we're just going to bring in our stone brick stairs right here and connect these things up, and it should help to finish off this top point. We, we do need to add a bunch more detail into the base structure itself, but I think overall this is really going to help us out here. And then I was thinking if we could just uh, kind of narrow down the window bit in here a bit further to make it feel a bit more enclosed in and I'm out of iron bars. Uh, I'll come back and grab those ones here in just a sec, but let's take a look over here and see what it looks like. Ooh, I like that a lot. I'm going to get that bell in there, get the iron bar in, and then I'm going to mess with this thing down there and hopefully the church from the outside will be done. And there we have it. I think we finally have the completed church design, which is just looking absolutely awesome. I'm really happy with this one. I added in some windows right there. I'm really upset that that disconnect between the bell and the, the fence right there, that's kind of a bummer. So I might change it out to an iron bar or something like that, or maybe connect it to through the side of it or something. I don't quite know, but I'm really, really happy overall with this design. I think it does stand out a bit against the rest of the village, but I think that's totally okay. I am also planning for a few of the other houses that we're going to build. We're going to use some spruce roofs instead of having everything being oak because it would just feel a little weird with it all being one color. We do have the spruce over there already, which is looking great. Uh, next step is going to be working on the interior of this thing, though. I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to get some work done on that one. Still not too sure how I want to be showing these off, like, well creating them so i think what we're going to be doing is here is the before and this is afterwards i am really happy with this one we got a bunch of beds in here in the form of or we got a bunch of benches in the, here in the form of our brown bed which is retextured as a bench obviously uh so this will give us a few more spots for villagers to be able to live in here for one because they can sleep on these benches and then also we have quite a few lecterns we got three of them dotted around here and it's looking pretty freaking awesome. We got some cauldrons here in the back corner, which is apparently the leather worker. So we <laughs> we got a bunch of things going on. Bookshelves and stuff just for decoration. I am super, super happy with how the interior of this guy turned out. Over inside of the tower, I did throw a few boxes and crates in here just so it's not empty. We got that pillar coming all the way down using the iron bars. And we just got a few more things on each floor. And up here, we don't have too much going on. I did change up this topper part here. So you'd kind of pull on that and it would swing that whole thing back and forth. That's the only real way I could think about connecting your bell up there. And I'm pretty happy with that one. Outside of this, I've been doing a bit of work on terraforming. It's It's been a while. I wasn't able to record for a bit. So it's like I'm just going to get some work done. So over there, we now have a, the pond that was up in that area. Now connects and flows all the way down into the swampy river down there. And also we have our cliff face going along there. I think that looks absolutely amazing. I'm super, super happy with that one. What I would like to work on next is if I can figure out how to jump up on here. Let's fly on over there through a good old ender pearl. And perfect. So what I would like to do now is clear out some of the trees up here. Get rid of all these path blocks. And oh, we have some cows up here too. Hmm. Do we want to put a house up here? I don't know. Maybe Should we put a house up here? Let me know, guys. And we even got a flower box. That's random. Okay. Anyways, I want to chop down the trees right in this area or maybe just like right here and put a small waterfall dropping down into this area right there. And then the water is going to basically will terraform this area out a bit further and smooth it out and add some more cliff facey stuff and then have the water actually running down along the right to the outside of the wall, like right through this section and down right through there and out into the river. So I'm going to work on getting that river basin, stream basin thing cut out of here, and I'll be back. Welcome on back. We've got a bunch of work done on this thing, and now that I'm looking at this right here, I actually want to go ahead and change that out for there and bring you right there because it looked like we did have quite a bit of grass overhanging, and that was looking a little awkward. Uh, let's go ahead and do that guy there. Maybe we'll get rid of that one. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> All right, so I've been doing quite a bit of work here decorating this cave out so it's not quite as boring and bland and it has a lot more to it than just our plain old Jane stone everywhere and I've been trying to mix things up here and just add in some extra variation uh, just trying to again make it more interesting for ourselves as we're going throughout 
and I've been slowly trying to like ease in some grass and dirt and stuff as it comes all over and hangs over and stuff. Maybe we do one right hit there. So that it's not just that block overhanging completely there. We can do that guy too. Up here at the top though, we've got this small tiny pond area. Not quite sure where the water is coming from. Maybe it's a magical spring or something like that. And then coming down here, the river is off of, or this little stream, I guess, is going to be coming right through here. I need to fix that bit up there. And then it's going to come all the way down through this this direction, through our fields on this side, cutting in between right in front of our gatehouse. And then on the gatehouse, we'll be building a small bridge that'll get us over this section. But the water is going to slide its way all the way through here. Stop in another pond because I figured why not? Let's add some extra interest in here. Turn it into a random pond. And then that pond spits it all the way out here into the major river network that everything else is connected up to. Welcome on back to our lovely, lovely mess. We got a lovely grove of oak trees over there, grown up, ready to be chopped down. We got a river flowing through here, a big old patch of berries, sweet berries over here, growing up as well. Then we need to gather up all of those things to keep extending our berry fields. And oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Adding in this bit of water right throughout here, like that view right there. Oh, so good. Very, very thankful for everybody who has been watching the videos and enjoying these ones so much. It has been awesome seeing the support recently, the growth of Minecraft and everything like that going on. Just in general in the community it has me very, very hopeful for the future. So thank you all so much for that. I really, really do appreciate it. Anyways, another thing I was able to accomplish in today's episode was actually coming through here and getting these fields planted in here as well. I figure they're not the best things to be building on camera, so it's pretty easy to come off of camera and just add in another one. And I did try adding in a lot more grass and double tall ferns and double tall grass and things like that. And it did improve the like the view overall quite a bit. So thank you all so much for the suggestions there on those ones. Our horse is stuck up there, though. He's kind of locked in there. Anyways, comment or question of the day today. This one is coming in from Yindi. They are saying, just out of interest, how long do you see this village project taking? I'm enjoying it, but also looking forward to you getting back to some other big projects. So with that, I got a question for you all. How long do you guys want to see this one going on for? I guess that's the super simple question. I, I am personally planning, I really want to do a market remake episode where we really focus on rebuilding up the market as well. That's the book. That's not opening the door. Uh, so I really want to work on building up the market. And then I think in that one, we can nail down a lot of these houses in here as well. Probably be the market and building up this house, that field and that house right there. And then we could do that house as well as like this guy right here and maybe a few other ones back in this area in another episode. So that'd be two more. And this is episode six of this build series. So I'm thinking this would be an eight or nine episode in total one. So maybe two more weeks of this building here. Then we move back towards working towards everything else. I think before we specifically jump over to the rest of the world where we were working previously, I do want to connect this up. I was thinking about we could do maybe a small dead project, like a crypt, like dead, dead lands area, almost like a where all the skeletons things come from around where our uh, end portal is. I don't know if that'd be too weird smack dab in the middle of everything here. So maybe we don't do that. Maybe it's just like a ruined town or something. Or what should we do with the end portal? We had that idea a long, long time ago of making it completely broken and like just shattered and like it was a city torn out of the ground. Bucket of tropical fish for five emeralds. That's pretty good there. Uh, but I don't, I don't really know on that one. That's a lot of me rambling on here. So let me know what you guys all want to be seeing on that. Like what should we be doing moving forwards? Is four episodes sound good, more or less? Or what should we be doing there? Anyways, thank you all again so much for watching today's episode. If you believe the video did deserve a rating, be sure to hit... Be sure to hit that like button down below. Sorry, the horse is making a... I think a horse just died in the berries. Oh. Anyways, please hit that like button down below if you did enjoy. And please hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I will catch you on the flip side.